June 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 44 and 45 of the Old Testament. O God, we have clearly heard. Our ancestors have told us what you did in their days in ancient times. You, by your power, defeated nations and settled our fathers on their land. You crushed the people living there and enabled our ancestors to occupy it. For they did not conquer the land by their swords, and they did not prevail by their strength, but rather by your power, strength, and good favor, for you were partial to them. You are my king, O God. Decree Jacob's deliverance. By your power we will drive back our enemies. By your strength we will trample down our foes. For I do not trust in my bow, and I do not prevail by my sword. For you deliver us from our enemies. You humiliate those who hate us. In God I boast all day long, and we will continually give thanks to your name. Selah. But you rejected and embarrassed us. You did not go into battle with our armies. You made us retreat from the enemy. Those who hate us take whatever they want from us. You handed us over like sheep to be eaten. You scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance. You did not ask a high price for them. You made us an object of disdain to our neighbors. Those who live on our borders taunt and insult us. You made us an object of ridicule among the nations. Foreigners treat us with contempt. All day long I feel humiliated and am overwhelmed with shame before the vindicated enemy who ridicules and insults me. All this has happened to us even though we have not rejected you or violated your covenant with us. We have not been unfaithful nor have we disobeyed your commands, yet you have battered us leaving us a heap of ruins overrun by wild dogs. You have covered us with darkness. If we had rejected our God and spread out our hands in prayer to another God, would not God discover it, for he knows one's thoughts? Yet because of you we are killed all day long. We are treated like sheep at the slaughtering block. Rouse yourselves, why do you sleep, O Lord? Wake up, do not reject us forever. Why do you look the other way and ignore the way we are oppressed and mistreated? For we lie in the dirt, with our bellies pressed to the ground. Rise up and help us, rescue us, because of your loyal love. My heart is stirred by a beautiful song. I say I have composed a special song for the king. My tongue is as skilled as the stylus of an experienced scribe. You are the most handsome of all men. You speak in an impressive and fitting manner. For this reason, God grants you continual blessings. Strap your sword to your thigh, O warrior. Appear in your majestic splendor. Appear in your majesty and be victorious. Ride forth for the sake of what is right on behalf of justice. Then your right hand will accomplish mighty acts. Your arrows are sharp and penetrate the hearts of the king's enemies. Nations fall at your feet. Your throne, O God, is permanent. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. For this reason, God, your God has anointed you with all the oil of joy, elevating you above your companions. All your garments are perfumed with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. From the luxurious palaces comes the music of stringed instruments that makes you happy. Princesses are among your honored guests. Your bride stands at your right hand, wearing jewelry made with gold from Ophir. Listen, O princess. Observe and pay attention. Forget your homeland and your family. Then the king will be attracted by your beauty. After all, he is your master. Submit to him. Rich people from Tyre will seek your favor by bringing a gift. The princess looks absolutely magnificent. Decked out in pearls and clothed in brocade trimmed with gold, in embroidered robes, she is escorted to the king. Her attendants, the maidens of honor who follow her, are led before you. They are bubbling with joy as they walk in procession and enter the royal palace. Your sons will carry on the dynasty of your ancestors. You will make them princes throughout the land. 
I will proclaim your greatness through the coming years. Then the nations will praise you forever. God, I love the the visualization of, of the bride, the princess coming to the king. And it says, listen, O oh princess, observe and pay attention. Forget your homeland and your family. Then the king will be attracted by your beauty. After all, he is your master. Submit to him. And I think about our relationship with you, God, how if we forget the worldly things, as you have told us to do, and we submit fully to you, if we submit to your authority, if we humble ourselves before you, then you are attracted by that beauty that we have. It's no longer a worldly beauty, but is a beauty that submits to your sovereignty, O oh God. What a beautiful and glorious picture of your church becoming your bride, of giving up the worldly things and turning everything over to you. God, we just love you so much and we can't wait to be your bride. We can't wait to just glorify you and sing your praises 24-7 in heaven, even though there won't be time, but 24-7 in heaven. I will fall asleep tonight with the image of this beautiful princess bride in my head submitting to you oh god in your son's name i pray amen